into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. You know, communion reminds us of his sacrifice for our adoption. His adoption fee was his body and his blood. 1 Corinthians eleven twenty three says this, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So Lord, we remember your body that was given for us, that adoption fee that we can call you Abba Father. In the same way, he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Lord, we remember this new covenant, that your blood was shed so ours wouldn't have to be. You took the punishment that we deserved so we could have the eternal life that you deserved. So God, we remember you in this moment. The table has been set. And you can be seated. This is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body of Christ is given 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 for you.
body of Christ, give it for you. Body of Christ, give it for you. Body of Christ, give it for you. Body of Christ, give it for you. Body of Christ, give it for you. Body of Christ, give it for you. Body of Christ given 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 for you. Remember in prayer, um, Al Luberts is, I can't remember the name of the facility he's at. Um, when, what is it? Linden Grove. Linden Grove. He's in hospice at Linden Grove. I saw him yesterday. He was very aware and uh, up and, and, and talking, talking about his favorite movies and uh, acting performances that he liked and didn't like. But um, we need to continue to pray for him during this time and his family. And I know he, they welcome visitors, so if any of you know Al and are friends with him, I know he'd, he'd love a visit from you. Um, need to lift up Don as well, who is in, uh, I believe he's at Good Sam, and we're hoping he can... He's being discharged. Oh, he's being discharged. Okay, so an answer to prayer. But we need to continue to pray for him that he gets all his levels and his health where it needs to be. Um, I guess the hospital didn't want him. I told him he had to be out by 8 o'clock so he can make it here on time for service but he didn't listen to me so but anyway we're grateful for that but we'll continue to lift him up in prayer um we need to to pray for our nation obviously always always pray for our nation 
pray for our leaders, whether we like them, whether we don't like them, we need to pray for our leaders, um, that they, they get God's heart for his people. And then always we continue to pray for Israel. You know, so many people are calling for ceasefires uh, for Israel. Um, but I, I believe Israel needs the right to defend themselves. And I don't want to get into all that, but we just need to pray for, for that nation. Um, so let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we, we come to you as the body of Christ, as a church family, as a church community. We lift up our loved ones, God, that are are facing hard times with their health. Lord, we lift up Al to you. Lord, that you would be near him in that room. God, he would sense your presence uh, in every moment that he is there. Lord, continue to just, just be with him during this time. Lord, let him be just aware of your presence and all the family and friends that are coming to see him. I just pray that he would be aware of those and, and let there be beautiful interaction during this time. We thank you, Lord, for Don's health, God, and continue to touch him and uh, touch his body. Let there be, put your healing hand upon him, Lord, as, as he recovers and uh, get him up to full strength and full health uh, right away, God. We lift up our nation to you. We thank you, Lord, for this nation, God, that you have given us such amazing freedoms. And I pray that we would protect them as the people, the freedom to worship you as as we choose, God. And um, I lift up our leaders, the White House, every state house, Lord, as we're in a furious election season and we're in a nation that is divided and we're, we're clashing ideologically, Lord. I pray that we as God's people would stand upon your word, Lord, and that we would speak truth in love, God. We lift up our leaders, we lift up our president, vice president to you, God, that you would give them wisdom, Lord, that you would give them the, your heart, for your people, Lord, that um, that they would serve well, God, and they would serve with the best interest, interest of our nation. Lord, we lift up the nation of Israel to you, God, that um, you would protect them, you would give them wisdom, protect the residents, the citizens, the people, protect the, their soldiers, Lord, um, as they follow orders. God, give the military leaders wisdom and courage, um, to stand up when they need to stand and to, um, you know, uh, submit when they need to submit, Lord. I just pray that there would just be a changing of heart in that region and around the world for the nation of Israel, God. They are your chosen people, and your word is very clear about that. And we lift up this community of Graham to you. Um, Lord, there's, there's so much need out here. It, it seems overwhelming. God, I just pray that you would continue to unite the churches in this area. We may have different traditions, but we have one God. And in order to reach this community, it's going to take every church working together for the good of your kingdom. And I just pray that we would begin to see that happen in this community. We love you so much. Thank you uh, for this church, this building, all these people. We lift up uh, the services happening today at Julian Estates and Bonaventure. Lord, that you would be present there, that you would give those leaders and worship leaders uh, just wisdom and grace and uh, an ear to hear you as they serve those people and serve them well. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
Now may the Lord bless you, and may he keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. coming today. These beautiful flowers were given by Dan and Mary Kay in honor of all the fathers today. And we have a, apparently a cookie buffet in the uh, fellowship hall because nothing says, Dad, I love you, like filling us full of butter and sugar. So, um, but anyway, God bless every single one of you and uh, go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks. Thank you. Are you a Marine?